the next sheet we're dealing with grades. So I have an example of six students and what they got on a test here and how that percentage works out for a grade. Now let me go ahead and delete these. I have two sets of grade scoring over here. One that's kind of basic, right here, A, B, C, D, F, and then one that'll give me pluses and minuses, so B plus, B, B minus, C plus, C, C minus. Now, I'm going to start the VLOOKUP formula and then tell you how this differs from the other one. What we want to do here is equals V lookup, open parentheses, the value that we want to look up is in this column here. So I'm going to click that cell, comma. Now I need to find the table array. The table array that I want is right here, these two columns. Now I'm going to do comma. Now the column index number. So I want to look up these numbers here, and I want it to spit out this result in the second column. So the column index number is 2. And here, the range lookup is true. Remember on the other side on the other tab we had it as false. The big difference here is it's going to approximate. Now what that means is that close parentheses. Since none of these guys got exactly 60, 70, 80, 90, their numbers are a little bit off. So the approximation is going to find <coughs> so for instance down here we have 87 there is no 87 listed here but we do have 80 so since I'm putting in true it's gonna get the next lowest value and then it's gonna spit out the corresponding cell for that so that's what true means an important thing to note is the table array that you're looking for has to be in ascending order. That means that it has to go lowest to highest. So 0 has to be here, 60, 70, 80, 90. You can't put the A to A on top and then go A, B, C, D. It has to be the other way around or it's not going to work. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to go ahead and drag this down. And I forgot to make the table array static. So for the table array, I'm going to navigate to the cell reference and hit F4. It's going to put dollar signs in and make it static. There we go. So using the VLOOKUP, we get grades for all the students. Now it is important to note, for F I have 0. But what if someone gets a 58? If they get a 58, they're still going to get an F. But the reason that you put a zero for the lowest one is because there is no bottom to it. So if I were to put 50 for an F and they get below a 50, say a 45, the V lookup's going to return an NA value. So that's why this is zero. Now if I change the V lookup to use this table as a reference, we're going to get C pluses, C's, C minuses. So I'm going to do a quick example of that. And you notice we have a few A minuses, C minus, B plus. So that's how you can use the VLOOKUP formula. And those are some two examples for it. And if you want to check out this spreadsheet, you can just get it from the website.